Hello everyone, this is Jenny the Etsy Rose, and welcome back to Leah's, uh, Leah's Love You Spin- Love You Malfia spinoff. Well, this is- This is the last chapter. Ending! Abderoid's honey hoist Mr. Papa over her shoulder and hauled him off to the secret police thing- to the secret police headquarters. And Nick explained the details to Leo and I. Er, uh, where should I start? Why is Nick- why is Nick transparent in this? Shouldn't he be solid like he was back in Jean's story? Unless this is some sort of special effect, like he has a trick to make him, um, see through? Uh, where should I start? You can start by explaining why you look transparent. Start with that! <laughs> From the beginning! You're the one who sent the bomb to Sunny's house, weren't you? Yeah, that was me. Nick just nodded. That was part of the plan. Did it have something to do with Mr. Papa? Yeah. We got information that Mr. Papa was going to attack Sunny's house, so we decided to play that so we decided to play that against him. We had Jay to deliver a bomb to Sunny's house right when Mr. Papa was supposed to show up. Show up. You guys sure are ghosty. It was a bit different from a regular bomb, too. When it blows up, it fills the room with smoke, rendering your eyes and nose useless. So Sunny and I were going to rush in there with masks and capture Mr. Papa. The plan kind of went up in smoke, though. Looks like it. Mr. Papa showed up a lot earlier than we expected. After a desperate battle with Sunny, he ended up running off when she was dis distracted for a split second. That's my cat, Felicity. So Sunny took off after him. And that's why I missed her. Really, she was planning on arresting Mr. Papa and going to meet you at the airport. So what's up with the secret police anyway? Sneaking around behind the scenes? I don't like it. Sometimes attacking from the front isn't the best option. But you know, I think we need people like you around, Leo. When we've got such blatant tough guys around, well, that keeps the bad guys away. What am I? A guard dog? Oof. Hey! <laughs> I think Sir took offense to that, Leah. <laughs> the, the person giving the orders is somebody you know pretty well. You say something? Nope, nothing. With a little chuckle, Nick got up from his seat. Well, I think it's about time for me to head off. There's still things I've got to do. Before that, call Jean. He's worried about you. He saw through the whole thing? He saw through the whole thing. Nick left the room, leaving only Serge. Leo, Serge, and myself in the, in the room. Ruff, ruff. Huh? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Wait, no, I've got to. Ruff, uh, what's he doing? What are they talking about? I have no idea what he's saying. Sert went off somewhere, pleasantly wagging his tail. Leo, what's up with Sert? He was telling me to talk to you. Talk? <clears throat> Leo theoretically cleared his throat. Jenny, you came here to see your sister Sunny, right? Yeah. And... You've already seen her, right? And confirmed that she's doing all right? Yeah, I'm really grateful to you for that. Thank you. I barely did anything. You did plenty! You let me stay in the police station when I had nowhere to go. You stayed by my side when I was worried. You listened to all my selfish requests, and you helped Sunny too. He also went all over creation looking for her. And not only that, you made my heart flutter the whole time too. I find myself gazing into his eyes. I found myself gazing into his eyes. Whenever I'm with Leo, my heart just pounds. But he doesn't want to hear that, does he? He's a police officer, that's why. He was just being nice to me because that's what he does. Because he's a hero. Really? Well, I'm glad you think that, but... Jenny, what are you going to do now? Well, 
Since I hadn't had the chance to really talk with Sunny yet, I'm going to go to her house later. Then I'll stay with her for a while. Do some catching up. And after that? Like you wanted me to, I'll go back to my own country. The reason I said you should go back home was that I didn't think it would be best for you to be in Niflheim, with it being this, with it being in a sorry, sorry state. You're too bright and cheerful for a town like this. Leah fell silent. Leo? For your sake, I should probably just send you back home. But I don't want to do that. Okay, spit it out, Leah. Stuart understands Leo better than he understands himself. Huh? Would you... Stay here. With me. Are you asking me to join the force? Wait, why would you think that? Oh, you aren't. Sorry. I thought you were offering me a job. No, wait. That's probably a good idea. You do have guts. Wait. That's not the point. <laughs> Leo looked right at me. His heated eyes felt like they would melt me. I just hope I'm not blushing like crazy right now. I want you to go out with me. Go out with you? Yeah, I don't think I'll ever meet another woman like you. I... My chest was just so full of joy I couldn't answer right away. What's your answer? Asking me that, Leo pulled me close by the hips and gave me an almost biting kiss. Leo? Though confused, I accept his lips on mine. But I couldn't answer you like this. But I can't answer you like this. Instead of complaining, I wrap my arms around his large frame tight. His kiss played with my lips gently, sometimes intensely. I was expecting my first kiss to be something a lot cuter, but... But... This kind of kiss really isn't bad. When our lips had finally parted, Leo spoke up, almost in a whisper. By the way... I'll only take you as for an answer. Then what was your point in asking me? Hey, you gotta do something properly. Hey, you gotta do everything properly. You... You're a lot worse than any mafia, you know that? Wanting to get back at him, this time, I smooched it myself. We have a pretty picture! We have a pretty picture! <laughs> Detective Leo. And tomorrow... We shall do Orlando's. We start with Orlando's. I am Jandy the Artsy Rose, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye!